Hello guys, what is up and welcome to the final episode of Kirby's Dream Land. Oh man, it feels like it just it feels like I just started this let's play today or some shit. But uh yeah, um uh yeah, once in a while you guys will get those where I play a whole game in a day and then I try to fit in like all the editing and voicing over in a day as well. And uh today is just one of those days. Uh uh January, what is it? Like 11th, you guys get a full let's play in one day. Maybe the all bosses video. I'm not sure. Depending on how I feel with the editing, this video, for anyone watching the all bosses video, will probably just be included in the all bosses video entirely, rather than me recording a whole separate, uh, piece of content just for the all bosses video. I'm not gonna include many bosses because, fuck that. Why would I do that? Uh, that's just more work for the for me to do. You know. Fuck, fuck the work. It's not the work I enjoy. It's the gaming. And the uh, sharing my knowledge and um, interests with you guys. You wonderful four to five loyal fans who like my videos and shit. And uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's the first guy down. Basically, this final level, there are five levels in the game. This final one is essentially a boss rush. And then once you complete all of these bosses, you can fight the final boss, aka King DDD. I will say, King DDD, he did take me more than one try. He was one of the... He, he This and level 4 were the only levels where I actually died in this game, which honestly just shows more than anything how easy this game is. Uh, it, um, it's honestly one of the easiest games I've ever played, considering I beat it in about... About an hour ish, and uh, then when I came home to do the editing, uh, first of all, I'll say I played this in my school's study hall, and then when I came home to do the editing, that also took about an hour. So I, I'm spending maybe, maybe like two and a half hours of my life on this game for for, for you guys, of course. For you guys, this game is just uh, it's, it's so fun. Because I, I get to, like, kill and manslaughter King DDD's army as a war criminal. He kidnapped my kingdom of dreamland. So, of course, we'll make him pay. As the war criminals we are. Uh, I'm just saying, if I ever do another Kirby Let's Play, it's gonna be Kirby holding a fucking gun for the thumbnail. I don't give a shit. The thumbnail will be Kirby holding a gun. A, B, C, D, something if you, I got a Glock and it's pointed at you. Ah, god damn it, I died. Yeah, as you can see, that's pretty much the part. Uh, so you, you guys don't get to see me beat that right away. However... Again, this is the final episode. You guys are going to watch me beat this easy as shit game. Because we're... Kirby's a god. I know I know the joke's ending with. I promise it won't carry on into the other Let's Plays. You know, Nightmare in Dreamland. The horror addition to the Kirby franchise. There's blood. There's manslaughter. There's every horror aspect you can think of. Even suspense is there. And not even horror games nowadays have that. But, uh, yeah, in all seriousness, if this Let's Play gets a little more, uh, you know, if this Let's Play does successful, I may or may not decide to do continue on with the entire franchise itself. Uh, whether or not I'm going to do Kirby in, Kirby's Dream Land 2 right away, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, honestly, I did not really like or enjoy this game. It's honestly just, um, I'm doing it just so I can say I did a fucking Kirby game, to be honest. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of Kirby. In fact, I kind of hate his shit. And he's a little pink slut who gets his superpowers by sucking superpowered beings cocks. So, uh... I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Kirby. Uh, he's a pretty good character in Smash Bros. I'll say that much. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's honestly a pretty boring game if you play through them. And, uh, just because of how easy they are. 
and uh, how short they are. They can be very tedious just uh, playing through, and even worse than playing through them is editing them for me. Of course, editing is the one thing that makes me think my, I, I made a mistake starting a YouTube channel at the young age of eight years old. Oh man, I'm like, I'm 15, going on 16 now. And, um, man, the editing is just a bitch. So, yeah. Uh, for any of you who don't know, this shit started out as me trying to copy my idol from back then, Super Mario Logan, who is a bitch and got banned on, like, every account. Well, ah, uh, fuck you, Logan. Uh, but yeah, uh, this, this channel started from, from me trying to copy that guy. And I, I, I basically just made videos of myself playing with dolls and got my friends involved and shit. And, uh, my brother. My brother's kind of still here to this day. He's in the background of some of my gaming videos. Like, uh, like this one. He's listening to everything I say, trying to hold it in his lap as I say it. Yeah, that's how it always goes. Yeah, that is how it always goes. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, it's crazy to believe, uh, how far I've come, to be honest. Uh, I feel like my quality has definitely gotten better. My skill has for sure gotten better. Uh, editing has probably gotten a little better. Uh, editing I still need to improve on. Commentary, I'd say, has gotten worse. My life used to be, like, so fucking interesting. Now my life is just this. What the fuck has it come to? It's like, oh, man. Like, yeah, fuck. Uh, like, damn. I'm talking about the people I got beef with and shit. And I have beef with a lot of people. Like, Akira Oda. He killed off Ace in One Piece. He can go fuck himself. Wait, my bad. He can go... Sushi Mawara... Himself. I don't even know Japanese, bro. <laughs> this pro that probably means, like... Plunger up your asshole. Or something. Okay, everyone on the count of three. Name something you can find in the bathroom... That you can use as a dildo. One, two, three. Plunger. Okay, comment your answer. Oh, did I hear a couple toothpaste tubes down there? Yeah, I heard some people tell me toothpaste tubes. Oh man, sweet bro. Someone just said, uh. What the fuck was that, brother? No, turn that shit on Do Not Disturb. What is wrong with you? Interrupting my videos, damn. Anyways, y'all, we are coming up on the final boss, which is fucking crazy to me, man. I'm about to beat the first Kirby game I ever played. The first Kirby game on my channel. You know? Again, I, I've been making a lot of uh, newer content recently. I've been start I started with the Ghost of Tsushima, which uh, it's not... It's not it's not common for me to play um, one-offs on this channel. I'll say that. I think that is the first like non-franchise game I've played on here. But um, yeah. Uh, when it comes to franchises, I've been starting a lot of new ones here on the channel. I know I started Kirby, obviously, in this Let's Play. Castlevania, I already got through. Uh, you guys may or may not get the Castlevania 2 Let's Play soon. Soon, I can't say, but I will say you guys are going to be getting some more Castlevania content. Right now, I'm mainly focused on Arkham Asylum, just, just the Arkham series in general, The Last of Us, and Ghost of Tsushima. And then once I get done with that, I want to go through Resident Evil 1. And, uh, yeah. Uh, after that, I don't really know what, to be honest. Uh, maybe, like... Go through Donkey Kong. It makes him even more progress with getting through some of these uh, franchises on the channel, you know? Hmm. Uh, the Donkey Kong Land games, I'm not excited for at all. I've heard some very tedious things about them.
I got a Glock, and it's pointing at it. you. Yeah, Kirby, all you gotta do is suck that um, Glock, point it at King DDD. Then he, then, then, there you go. That's how he wins, bro. He's a fucking war criminal. He cheats and everything. Honestly, Kirby is the god that makes these games so damn easy. Because he, he has the powers of a god. Like, obviously, if Kratos' games are still hard, they aren't... He's not strong enough. Kirby, he is facing literal gods, just like Kratos. And he's fucking winning, bro. Literal gods of light and dark. And then even in his main series, he faces off against gods. Like, bro. And then look at that. King D, he, he has, like, every move plus more. He's, like, half... A, he's, like, double Kirby's size. Like, bro, we are literally a god. We can transform into anything. Look at this. We just transformed into a fucking balloon. And we're carrying this guy's house, about to drop it into the damn ocean. We are literal gods, bro. But, um, yeah. That is pretty much going to be it for this Let's Play. Again, thank you for those of you who have stuck with this one day long Let's Play. Because this game took me, like, an hour to beat, an hour to edit, and then... Uh, about an hour and a voice over. Uh, yeah, that is pretty much going to be it for this Let's Play. Thank you guys all for watching this episode and the Let's Play in general. Um, uh, really easy series. I may or may not go for the second one soon, but I can promise you, when I get to Kirby 64, it will be a thumbnail of him holding a fucking gun. I don't care. And then when I play Nightmare in Dreamland, it's gonna be some creep creepy pasta fan art or some shit you know but uh yeah again thank thank you guys all for sticking through with this let's play this is another um step for my channel um uh, going through another franchise you know uh what i want to do is eventually i want to focus on just one franchise at a time and go through all of the games that i have available to me and then, uh, you know, once I get the capture card, go through the games that I don't have available to me and shit. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And hit the notification bell so you know when you can see more. That is going to be pretty much it for this episode. And, um, yeah. Uh, come back for Dreamland 2. And that is going to be it. Bye.